Hello my beautiful little muglets, today we are doing some more arena, we are back in scrub zone, but Spectre Tenebria had her buffs, uh, and I've been playing around with her a lot last week, like not at all this week. I was too lazy and was just doing NPC challenges, but um, there were a few different strats I was trying. The one I kind of fell on was double lots and rows. I know it's kind of weird, but I'll try and do a demonstration. Also, we're finally doing our toe reveal. I don't think that many people know about it, but I think about it every so often. Like, I I promised the toe reveal at 60k. We're a bit past that now, so so I'm like, I'm probably going to put it somewhere random in this video. Just in case someone came here for the toe reveal. I don't know, I kind of want to see someone in the comments, like, have a timestamp for my toe reveal. Like, literally a timestamp to see some stranger's toe. Um, I think that'd be pretty hilarious. So we're going to do one NPC challenge first, just so you can get an idea about the uh, thought behind this strategy. Also, I don't think we have any volume right now, but I'll fix that in a second. So we start off with lots. She boosts Tenebria. And depending on the situation, either... Oh wait, we need another Taga Hell book here. It's good we did NPC challenge first. Depending on the situation, I'll, I'll either do her first or her third skill. And uh, go ahead and target someone. And then this will mean her ult is on cooldown. Uh... Of course that's going to kill the NPCs, but regardless. Then we're going to go ahead and do her skill, get that attack boost refreshed. And at this point, it's normal Lot's turn, which also can give 80% combat readiness. Uh, I didn't bother mulligoring him because what's the point? And then at this point, you know, got a boom. And then you got do another one. They're very, very powerful single target attacks. Uh, for some reason, she, did, she didn't crit there. Yeah, I wasn't using this team for a couple days, so some some artifacts and, and stuff may have gotten switched around, but we're going to fix that real quick. And we should have some volume now as well. But before we do any real battles, here's my Spectre Tenebria. She does have a Rage set equipped. Unfortunately, she has to take a Taga Hell book because we just need all the souls we can get, pretty much. 81 crit chance, that'll get bumped up to like... 97 when we give rose the uh, midnight bloom back also we should get rose some exclusive equipment i just recently raised her um so i didn't even think about that but yeah i wouldn't know which one but we'll go and give that a check getting a little sidetracked here sorry about that oh she gets extra speed damn hmm that might mess some things up though because rose has to go no actually i think that'll be okay rose just needs to go after oxlots and before normal lots but i don't think she'll get anywhere near oxlot speed so it should be fine the actual buffs don't seem all that interesting so i'm pretty much just gonna go until we get like nine speed would should be fine in a pvp situation i don't think i'd be able to use any of them uh, so yeah, we're just going to take that 9 speed. She's up to 225 now, which is still much less than Oxlot, so it should be fine. But yeah, back to our Spectre Tenebria. You can see her stats here. Uh, totally maxed out. Molagoras as well. The Rage set actually won't help her too much. I was originally taking her with Bazaar, Tamarin, and Assyria. Hello. No. Go away. Okay. And that worked out decently well, but I couldn't really get back to Tenebria's turn after her initial turn. Uh, it just took too long, even with Bazaar's combat readiness decrease and then Tamarin's increase, so I couldn't really see that double hit. But I mean, she herself can poison. We just don't have very many other debuffers in the team, so uh, might switch around her gear again at one point, or maybe the team. Uh, this team is kind of iffy, but it's pretty fun. This team I don't think she'll do very well against. You know, we can hit that Moonlight Kin without any real repercussions as he can't counterattack her normal attack. And then we can like throw an ult on him. Uh, we're probably going to lose this one, but I just kind of want to try. Especially because we have a Reviver there as well. It's, it's a pretty annoying team, to be honest. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So, going to boost her up. Then we're going to start with a basic on Kin there. No oh damn, that didn't do very much at all. And unfortunately, wow dude, how unlucky is that? Dual attack from normal lots, so he countered. Now I don't think there's any way we can actually kill him. Hell, we can't even stun him. Yeah, this is actually pretty bad already. Uh, well, we're gonna... Uh, we had to use all of our souls just for that, but we're gonna get rid of him now. And um, yeah, I, I don't know what we're gonna do about the reviver right now though, to be honest. Yeah, we're... So we're boosting uh, her back up, and yeah, now Bellona is going to counterattack. This is a this is a bad idea, honestly. Oh damn! But almost, almost killed Bellona. In fact, if she doesn't get healed before her turn. Oh wait, we can kill her with Oxlots. Just the reviver left, pretty much. Now I'm not sure about this though. If we can somehow get it to be 
down. Ah, damn. No, it's going to be Rael's turn too fast, and then she's going to revive someone annoying. We're going to try boosting Ox lots. I don't know if it's enough. It wasn't enough. Oh, but she's silenced. That was cool. Now we can boost uh, Spectre Tenebria back up. And she's debuffed now, so it should do a decent chunk of damage. Very not bad at all. Boost her up again with normal lots. I mean, okay, so we won. It took kind of a long time, but... And we didn't really get to see her double hit, really. So let's see if we can change that on this one. This is only a temporary alliance. Okay, so to reveal, thanks for 60k guys, um, I don't know why I promised this, I don't know why I'm doing this, but... Yeah, I mean, there it is, there, there's my toe. Y yeah. If we can land a poison on Kin, which they all seem to have immunity. The last kin had immunity, this kin has immunity. I wonder if it's just because I, I'm trying this strategy right now. I mean, ultimately we don't have to hit the kin. You know, we don't even really have AoEs here except for aux slots and we can just like try and not use that and leave kin alone pretty much. I think we're gonna try that honestly. So we're going to burn another attack. Probably gonna try get get rid of that uh, Bellona. That did no damage at all. I wonder if she missed the crit. We're gonna have to burn it again. See, that did a ton of damage, and now we can use her ult, try and push them all back. Just hope that procs. I think it did, like, sort of at least. So we can get her back up now, target that kin, unfortunately, but we can hit, see two hits here. Oh no! Oxlot, stop. I think we're pretty screwed though, honestly. I might have to sacrifice our Oxlots in hopes that uh, one of them get uh, silenced. Okay. That's fine. Ooh, nice. Oxlots did I'll not crit. How how actually lucky. Ooh, that kin. That kin isn't just built for Say counters, this. it looks like. Jeez. I'm gonna try this again. Nice, the Rurel is gone. Now we can do it again. I'm bored. It's unfortunate we're always having to use all four souls on the first turn. Look at that, dude. That, that's crazy. Hopefully we can find a team here where we can actually kind of use it better. Yeah, I guess we can try this one. I don't really fight teams like this, but um, we're just gonna have to hope that Dizzy isn't too fast. Oh damn, she is really fast. We're gonna have to kill her then. Gonna do one burn. Alright, the ult should be able to kill her and we can save the rest and hopefully push them back. Let's see. Yes, they all got pushed. Oh, except... Oh yeah, and I forgot, of course. Charles can double dunk and counter and, and everything, at least not on the basic though. Parry this, you filthy casual. Boom! Oh, no critical. What's up with these non-criticals? She has like 3%... That's so stupid. She has like 3% chance to not crit. And she's like not criticaling all the time, of course. So 40% chance to double dunk. Or a 40% chance to counterattack at all, and of course he does it. Let's try this again. Damn, he's so tanky. Yeah, we can try it again though. I didn't bother mulligoring him because what's the point? Oh, damn. The one time where I probably regret not having that 80%, but regardless. Alright, that's off cooldown now, but we are going to get rid of Charles, I guess. Hopefully push them back. Yeah, she resisted unfortunately. Just trying- ooh, that was nice. Ooh, man, the dual attacks. That's one of the reasons I wanted to try Tamarin, because, you know, Tamarin's basic attack will dual attack. But yeah, damn, these arena battles take so long when I'm used to just boosting Judge Kisa. But I think there might be a little bit less RNG. It's just, with this current setup, the rage set for her doesn't make much sense, as she has to attack them first, and then she's, like, basically wasting an attack because she's losing all that damage. Uh, so, I don't know. So I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with her yet, no, but we're just gonna keep trying this. No, uh, looks like no one's super fast here. Kin's not that dangerous if you leave him alone, honestly. I think more annoying is Bellona in this case. Probably gonna try and get rid of her. Also, she doesn't have immunity. Alright, well, doesn't really matter. Would've been nice to one-shot her, but regardless. Okay, but now, watch this. Watch this amazingness. We're actually gonna go for the healer. Try and make sure she dies. All right, she won't die. So then, we're gonna make sure Ken dies, I guess. 
Ooh, double? Nice, dude. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, I should probably take the revivers a little bit more seriously, but I don't know. I mean, we we still have a chance here. I don't think it's over yet. Gonna go for Bell and just hope it hits uh, yes. So it hit Bell and Moonlight Kin and Charles because of uh, Bellona's passive got killed too. Oh, whoops. That's refreshing. What should I do? Wait, did did he just boost his own combat readiness? I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that was a thing. I actually had a thought the other day. What if you gave both Oxlots and Normal Lots that uh, Lulika artifact where they have no cooldown on their second skills? Could you just like keep swapping between them over and over and just like get infinite souls? I don't have a single one of those artifacts and I would need like I think 12 <laughs> to max two of them. But uh, that could be pretty interesting if it works how I think it does. Um, yeah. No, let's not do that one. But yeah, I guess I'll pretty much do it. Just basically wanted to showcase her buffs. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I just never got around to it. I wouldn't really know what the best team for her would be. Obviously the gear is wrong for that team since they almost never have debuffs when I'm, when I'm hitting them. Maybe Bizarre instead of Rose? I don't know. It's just we're kind of losing the uh, Rose attack buff then. Also, I would need even more speed gear because I would still need Ox slots there for the at least the initial boost but yeah if you have any team suggestions or anything like that make sure to leave them in the comments down below dropping a like if you'd to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well thanks as always for watching and also for 60,000 subscribers and until next time